Good afternoon everybody and welcome to another wedding vlog um, type thing that I'm going to be doing for you today. Today I'm at a place called Hunter's Hall in Swanton Morley, this is in Norfolk and I just want to take you a little bit around the venue, you know, as I usually do. I'm playing, today I'm playing for the ceremony and I'm playing for the reception afterwards so as per usual I'm not going to do any recording or any playing, any any, vi any videoing of me playing in the ceremony. I'll show you the ceremony room, but obviously it's just for private reasons for someone's wedding uh, and obviously trying to operate a camera when I should be playing at certain times in someone's ceremony is quite difficult. So, uh, yeah. So, you can see some of the grounds behind me. Actually, I think this might just be a car park area. Uh, looks like a few people are starting to arrive. But let me just show you the front of the venue. That's my car on the left. Sorry about that guys, it seems, <laughs> seems like I just started filming at the wrong time. So this is the front of the venue um, and I'm Actually, that might be the registrars having said that because they're going around the corner there, so I take that back. So I'm about to go in to, where is it, into this, this front entrance here and just take you around. The guests, uh, will they'll come in just, uh, just through there because they don't like people having a look at the tables and things. So let me take you through to the um, wedding breakfast. So that's where everybody, after they've had the ceremony, they've had the photographs, as well and they'll be brought into the area where they have the wedding breakfast. Okay, sorry about that, someone had locked the door I needed to get in. So this is where they're having the wedding breakfast. As you can see it looks really really nice. The flowers for this wedding are absolutely amazing. Um, oh this is a bar. And let me just have, give you a little sneak peek of the cake. That looks really nice. I wonder if the flowers are there for decoration. I think they are. I think, yeah, I think they are decoration. But the cake looks awesome. Breakfast, they might clear these tables away. Here's the top table, and um, this area here is maybe where they'll have a band set up a little bit later because obviously it's too early now. So now I'll take you into the ceremony room, which is just through here. So this, guys, is probably one of the nicest ceremony rooms I've, I've seen in a very, very, very long time. You don't very often get, you know, all this kind of thing, all the little rose petals and things down here. And these, this is really pretty as well. And this is where I'm going to be, I'm just going to be here, I haven't set everything up yet. Um, just wanted to do some filming before I set up and it is now five past two and the ceremony is not till three. But yeah. Okay, so I'm going to take you out into the garden where I'm going to be playing for the reception. So after the ceremony everybody goes outside to have a few drinks and some photographs, etc. So I'll take you through there to have a look. Again, I've not set everything up outside yet because it's just it's too hot to have my equipment sitting outside. So once the ceremony's done, I'll just take a few minutes just to set up. It's very pretty. If Norfolk has anything, it's, it's an abundance of this kind of thing. The venues are really, really pretty. 
We have lots of kind of converted barns to have weddings in with, you know, really beautiful grounds. So people are going to be milling around this area here that I'm showing you. And I am going to be setting myself up there. I'm going to try and use my 360 camera today to do the recording, but I don't think it's going to really kind of, you're going to kind of get bushes mostly on one side. Uh, but we'll see. If not, I will definitely set this camera up, do some recording anyway. So everybody's going to be milling around here and these are the grounds where they're going to be having the photographs, I presume. There's a little pagoda there. So I was at this venue a year ago, the bride and groom. Um, I think everybody sort of lined up either side of the path here and the bride was sort of down where that, that bench is, the bride and groom were down by the, where the benches were. They came forward as the photographer was kind of standing here uh, and took the photos. So yeah, this is the venue, guys. So I'm going to get set up in the ceremony room now. As I said, it's just, well, it's nearly 10 past two now. The ceremony doesn't start until three, so um, I don't usually start playing until kind of 15, 20 minutes before the ceremony. Anyways, the guests are arriving into the ceremony room. Quite often the registrars don't really let people into the ceremony room that early anyway, just because they like to talk to the bride, they like to talk, they like to, talk to the groom, and you know they want to sort themselves out. So. ceremony room like any minute now the registrar's out just saying the bride and the groom everybody's just out there I thought I would just very very super quickly go through what I was going to be playing today so yeah I'm playing Marry Me uh, as a bride makes her entrance and then the three songs during the signing of the register uh, I'm going to be playing Perfect by Sheeran uh, All of Me by John Legend just playing Thinking Out Loud, and then for the exit, they want Marry You by Bruno Mars. And I'm gonna be playing all of these with backings. Usually I play unaccompanied. I'm gonna be playing with backings today, and I've just bought one of these little um, revolve, those revolve things, um, which actually for this kind of size room is absolutely perfect. Uh, let me just play, as I've got all the backings on my phone. So as you can see, actually, it's uh, well, as you can hear, uh, it sounds fine. So, yeah. Anyway, um, anyway, I'm going to go because I need to start playing now for the ceremony, which starts another ten minutes, and I will talk to you later. is actually finished and everybody has just gone in for the wedding breakfast uh, oh you can't see but they've just they've just gone that down that little bit there so I am now left um, just kind of packing up my stuff but 
just before I was going to do that, I was going to um, put this camera on a tripod and just do a tripod and just do a little bit of recording for you because I didn't get a chance to do any recording during the reception. Um, the reason was mostly because, to be perfectly honest, there were people that were actually sitting quite close to me here, um, and there were there were a few children around, and it didn't really seem to um, be kind of appropriate to set anywhere, set my camera up anywhere. Uh, I wanted to, to I wanted to do my 360 video as well, but again, I mean, I was just kind of going to put it here. Uh, I was a bit worried about people kicking into it or people kicking it over and people knocking into it. Um, you'd have got a lovely view of these trees and these leaves up here as well. So it didn't really, unfortunately, on this one there was just nowhere appropriate to put it. Uh, and again, there were just kind of, there were children around, so I didn't want to put anybody in an awkward situation and, uh, you know, have my equipment breaking and have to worry about that. So now everybody's going to, going to, gone in. Um, I thought I would just uh, serenade you with a couple of pieces. So I'll just play a few pieces. I don't know. We'll see how many. I'll just play um, maybe half the pieces or halfway through at least. But anyway, I just wanted to play you something because there's no way that I can make a vlog entice you all in and not actually do any playing. So, yeah, I'm going to set the camera up and um, I'll talk to you a little bit later. And
I hope you enjoyed the kind of mini performance that I did here and I'm going to end the vlog here today. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed come along with, coming along with me to a wedding. They're always, as I say, always say before, they're, they're always quite difficult to film these because obviously I'm play, paid to be at a wedding doing a job but you know I always try and film as much as I can because I know you guys are interested in sort of seeing what it's like um, I suppose from one musician to another and you know I like watching these when people do these they're, they're very rare to actually see on the internet but I the occasional ones that I do see uh, I always find them very fascinating because I like to see what equipment people are using which actually brings me to another point I never actually showed you what equipment um, do you want to see what I'm using oh, I'm going to tell you what I'm using anyway Okay, the equipment that I use, very, very quickly, then I probably should have inserted this earlier. This, this, uh, this, this is my PA, and this is the Mackie Reach. I also use the Mackie Free Play, which is a lot smaller. It's more like, um, like a, 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 a boombox thing that sits on the floor. It's not very good for outside. It's good for kind of smaller ceremony type rooms. Not very good for outside, because I just don't think it kind of carries enough, and especially if people are sort of going to be milling you know, else elsewhere and in this kind of area here. Sometimes it just doesn't kind of necessarily carry. But this is a 750 watt PA and it's all Bluetooth. So um, I really like it. It's, uh, you've got some, well, luckily I was sitting in front of the speaker today, but normally I, I've, I've usually got this PA out in front of me and I can't really hear anything, but you've got some kind of, where are they, monitors either side here. So that connects wirelessly to my iPad and then you just connect it via the Mackie Free Play app, which is this one here, and that connects via Bluetooth. And it works really well. I have done a review on the Mackie Free Play. It's exactly the same as the Mackie Reach, this one that I'm using here. Uh, but yeah, you just use it to, you know, to, to mix. And I've got my violin on this one and AUX is my... Uh, well, this, the iPad actually. So what I use is iTunes. I put all my backings into a playlist. Let me just show you. So I have, um, this is my demo CD. So I have this playlist for when I'm kind of setting up and it's just me. Um, is that gonna come out? Yes, it is. So this is just, let me just forward it through. So this is just me playing. So sometimes I, the first thing I do is get the, 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 the speaker set up, get this set up with it, and then I can at least play this while I'm getting the violin out so it's not completely silent. And then I have 2018 My Choices. So on that is just all of this list correlates with what we've got in here. So depending on how I feel on the day, I'll either just start it at that one and it'll just play through to the next one, or sometimes I might jump them. Uh, depending on how long I'm going to be playing for, but I like to have, what does it say here, I've got 37 songs, 2 hours and 22 minutes, so I like to have a good amount of time to play for. The most I play for is about 90 minutes max for any gig, any longer than that, and it just kind of gets a bit, well, it's just it's just a bit much. It doesn't need, you don't need to play for any longer than 90 minutes. So all of this is in the same order as that I have in my book, and, you know, depending on what the next song is coming up, I'll either play it or I'll skip it whatever and these little gems that I've got up here are my little wind thingamy jiggeries you can't get these in the UK I got these sent to me by a friend from America so they're really good to keep the the wind in check with the music because as you know that often blows away and then I have my iPad connected with one of these little kind of um, I don't know what make it is but that just connects the iPad and then my bridge electric violin so anyway, thank you very much for watching this vlog. If you want to see more of these, let me know in the comments underneath, or if you've got any questions regarding my equipment or I don't know, anything like that, put them in the comment section underneath and I'll try and answer and get back to you. But thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next wedding that I've got, which is in a few weeks time. Bye.